Mr. President, Heads of State and Government, Secretary General, Distinguished Delegates, Ladies and Gentlemen, on behalf of the government and people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I express appreciation to the Secretary General for successfully convening this high-level meeting. Our deep gratitude also go to the President of the General Assembly and previous speakers for their remarks and contributions to the multilateral efforts towards total elimination of nuclear weapons. As we meet to commemorate and further consider the imperative of total elimination of nuclear weapons, it is right to emphasize that trafficking in nuclear materials is a potential threat to international peace and security. Concrete evidence has shown that nuclear weapons are unique in their destructive power, as well as in the scale of human suffering they inflict and the misery and bad blood they leave in their wake. Coincidentally, this year marks the 75th anniversary of the use of an atomic bomb in Hiroshima and Nagasaki that terminated the lives of thousands of people with severe damages to the environment. The anniversary is a forceful reminder of the catastrophic humanitarian consequences of nuclear weapons which undermine global, national, and human security. Hence, there is need for all states to comply with applicable international laws and conventions to ensure a world free of nuclear weapons. We must therefore redouble our efforts to implement the provisions of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty being the basis of non-proliferation regime. This is to enable us to achieve our desire for total elimination of nuclear weapons. We therefore reiterate our call on the United Nations to continue engaging nuclear weapon states to speed up their efforts in disarming and decommissioning their existing nuclear facilities. The best approach to avoid damage associated with nuclear materials such as humanitarian crises, accidents, disasters, and criminality is the total elimination of nuclear weapons. Excellencies, to demonstrate our support for multilateral efforts towards the total elimination of nuclear weapons, Nigeria has been involved in the promotion of peaceful application of nuclear science and technology at national and international levels. Accordingly, Nigeria ratified several international treaties and conventions in the area of nuclear safety and security. We have also expressed political commitment to the International Atomic Energy Agency Code of Conduct on Safety and Security of radioactive sources. More so, we have developed and approved the first International Atomic Energy Agency Integrity Nuclear Security Plan for the period 2010 to 2012, with further review to cover 2019 to 2021 period. In this connection, Nigeria commends the continued efforts of the IAEA particularly its role in monitoring and inspecting nuclear facilities. We urge states to ensure compliance with IAEA safeguards and standards at all times, as well as nuclear verification disarmament measures. In order to facilitate the development and feasible deployment of nuclear technology, Nigeria regulates and implements 
its energy aspiration through the relevant agencies. In addition, we are reforming the national nuclear security sector to make it robust and reliable. These reforms involve the domestication of the International Convention for the Suppression of Acts of Nuclear Terrorism, Review of Nuclear Safety and Radiation Protection Act, and Review of Nigeria Nuclear Regulatory Authority Act. To further demonstrate our commitment to nuclear security, Nigeria successfully converted the Nigerian Research Reactor, a 31 kilowatt miniature neutron source reactor for highly enriched uranium to low enriched uranium fuel. Also, in 2019, the administration set up Nigeria's Nuclear Security Support Center and developed a nuclear security detection architecture to serve as a sustainable safeguard for maintaining nuclear security and detection of radioactive materials out of regulatory control. Let me see this opportunity to highlight the 1996 advisory opinion of the International Court of Justice, which affirms that the threat or use of nuclear weapons constitutes a crime against humanity and a violation of international law, including international humanitarian law. As one of the countries at the vanguard of the campaign for the total elimination of nuclear weapons, Nigeria signed the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons on 20th September 2017 and recently ratified it on 6th of August 2020. Nigeria joined like-minded states to sponsor the resolution titled Taking Forward Multilateral Nuclear Disarmament Negotiations, which led to the legally binding treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons. We are concerned about the slow pace of progress by nuclear weapon states to accomplish the total elimination of their nuclear arsenals. In accordance with their legal obligations and undertakings under Article 6 of the Non-Proliferation Treaty, we again stress that the universalization of the Non-Proliferation Treaty is dependent upon strict compliance with its three pillars: A. Disarmament. B. Non-proliferation and C. Peaceful uses of nuclear energy. We therefore enjoin other member states to ratify the treaty. Nigeria also played a major role in negotiations leading to the coming into force of the African Nuclear Warfare Free Zone Treaty, the Linda Bar Treaty. We will continue to galvanize other African states to abide by the tenets of the Pelinda Bar Treaty. This is to ensure that the entire continent remains nuclear free. Excellencies, while there are no easy solutions, when we confront one of the gravest existential threats to the survival of the human race, we must remain undeterred and committed to a world of safety and security, one without volatility forced by nuclear weapons. Thank you.